Namaste everyone, Rohit here from Indie One Up, and today's video is all about NVIDIA's DL DSR or Deep Learning Dynamic Super Resolution. Now have a look at this particular image. It is provided by NVIDIA itself. The leftmost one is native 1080p rendered. Middle one is Dynamic Super Resolution 1, which is rendered at 4K and downscaled to 1080p. The third one is Deep Learning Dynamic Super Resolution 1 and that one was rendered at 1620p and downscaled to 1080p. But if you look closely, the best looking pick is definitely DLDSR and the performance impact when compared to native is just 2 FPS. So that's a huge boost in image quality without sacrificing much at least when compared to DSR. Now let's look at how to set up NVIDIA DLDSR. Open web browser and type NVIDIA drivers. Open the link. Enter the necessary details. Mine is 3070Ti so I am going to enter that. Now the requirement for this particular technology is 511.23 driver version and if you look at the details you will find that it includes support for NVIDIA DLDSR. When you are done with it, open NVIDIA control panel and go to this manage 3D settings. Here you will find DSR factors, you need to turn it on. Select this upper section, not this section. Upper one is deep learning section. Check both of these. And you will see whatever your resolution is, it is getting multiplied. Mine is 4K sadly, so it is gonna give me some bigger resolutions that I don't need. And to rectify that problem, we have a different solution. You can see that you have these new resolutions and your newer added resolutions are here. But we don't want these bigger resolutions as they will hit our performance even more. So what we are going to do now is download the utility called CRU which is custom resolution utility. Go to this link. It is developed by ToastyX and you can download it from here. Any version will work. I personally have 1.4.1 so I am gonna use it as it is sufficient. You need to click the CRU.exe first and delete each and every resolution that is above the resolution that you require. For example, you need 1920 into 1080 resolution as your native resolution. So you need to delete any resolution that is greater than full HD resolution. So I'm going to each and every section that contains resolutions and deleting the resolutions that are greater than full HD. Okay, only full HD resolution is left now. Now we need to restart the driver. After restarting you will see that your resolution is automatically accepted as now full HD is your native resolution and your highest refresh rate is also back. Let's double check with the settings. Yes, each and everything is correct. Now let's go and get in game 
with Shadow of Tomb Raider. Go to Options, Display and Graphics. Here you will find that you now have those two resolutions that are deep learning ones. Select the IS one and apply. See, graphics are much better than the native image. FPS is also high. So this is particularly a good way to have better looking image and uh, way more FPS if your game doesn't support DL, SS or technologies like that. Here is a comparison for native image, Full HD. The mesh on the soldier's head and leaves have a bit aliasing issue. Otherwise it's good, at least to me. Okay, now so we are done with our job. And what if we want to revert our driver to its default? Just go back to CRU and reset all. Double click on this. And this trial driver once more. You will have all your settings reverted back again and you can have all your resolutions back. That's it for this video. If you have any issues, let me know in the comment section. I am there to help. See you in the next video.